Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. On April 22nd, a commemoration ceremony was held in the French city of Brno on National Day of Remembrance of the victims of deportation and the genocide of Armenians. On April 24th, a commemoration ceremony was held in Lyon with the participation of the National Council of Western Armenia to save the last crumbs of destroyed Armenian civilization, at least on paper, Rafi Kortoshan. Recognize the provinces of Western Armenia Artsakh. The gesture of the Turkish Foreign Ministry addressed to Armenians is a modern threat to Europe, the German newspaper Neues Deutschland. A cross stone in the memory of victims of genocide of Armenians was desecrated in Brussels. Famous jazz musicians will arrive in Armenia on International Jazz Day. Under the auspicious of the mayor of regional advisor of the French city of Bron, Jeremy Braoult, a memory ceremony was held on the occasion of National Day of Remembrance of the victims of the deportation and the genocide of Armenians, during which leader Margosian also delivered a speech. The event organized on the occasion on this National Day was attended by numerous figures, including the deputy of city of Bron, Mr. Anissa Heder, the vice consul of Republic of Armenia, Levon Davtian, the delegate of the city council of veterans affairs, Mr. Stefan Jenen, Vice President of the National Association of Armenian Veterans and Sympathizers, Mrs. Lydia Margosian, President of Survivor Francias, Mr. Rives Paisyon, and Mr. Laurent Desham, Chairman of Laysan Committee of the Association of Veterans and Resistance Fighters of Braun. Read the full material on our official website. On April 24, 2022, at 12 a.m., a memorial ceremony for the victims of genocide of Armenians was held in Antion, Pont Square and Lyon, organized by the National Council of Western Armenia, with the participation of the National Association of Armenian Veterans and Supporters, the French Association of Veterans and Resistance Fighters, as well as deputies of Parliament of Western Armenia. On this occasion, the official message of the National Council of Western Armenia was announced in French and Armenian. Rest were laid on behalf of National Council of Western Armenia. The National Assembly of Western Armenia, Zartnir Lao, was played, which broke the minute of announced silence. With a welcoming speech to the flag bearers, the official ceremony was declared closed. Deputy Director of the Foundation for the Study of Armenian Architecture, Rafi Kortoshan, touched upon the fate of Armenian cultural values remaining in Western Armenia and the territories of Artsakh, occupied by Azerbaijan and the decision of international authorities. In fact, the Armenian cultural genocide was of prolonged nature and does not stop and what we see in 2020 may not exist today, says Rafi Kortoshan, noting that the purpose of their action is to save the last crumbs of Armenian civilization, being the destroyed, at least on paper. He calls that with the destruction of the Armenian people in Ottoman Empire, a significant part of the spiritual, culture and tangible values were also destroyed. Now under pressure from international community, Azerbaijan has slightly changed its policy and is carrying out cultural genocide in these new areas with a new appetite, presenting Armenian monuments as Albanian. We want to remind you that in the territories recognized internationally by Azerbaijan, the Hague Court recognized all Armenian monuments as the heritage of Armenian people. Artsakh is a state of Western Armenia, the 10th province of historical Greater Armenia. It was distributed in northern eastern part of eastern and Armenian highlands of the Lesser Caucasus. The capital was the province Sotk and Tzavdek, and during the reign of Aran Shahiks, the settlement of Dutakan, the state had 12 provinces. The Armenian population of Artsakh was formed as a result of the merging of native indigenous tribes, the Proto-Armenians. The latter settled here already in the 7th century. According to historical sources, Artsakh entered in 189 BC, proclaimed as part of Armenian Kingdom, as one of the 15 provinces of the latter. In 1387, the province of Artsakh was subjected to destructive invasion by Lang Temur. At the end of the 15th century, it fell under the rule of Turkmens and from 1555 in Safavid, Persia. Nevertheless, until modern times, Artsakh retained a homogeneous Armenian population and it continued to be ruled by the provinces of House of Khachen, who from the 15th century bore the little Melik. During this historical period, Artsakh was divided into five provinces, Gulistan, Jirabert, Khachen, Varanda and Dizag. Artsakh was the only Armenian region that after centuries of Turkish Persian rule retained its Armenian sovereignty and had an international recognized sovereign status. 
The editor of German newspaper Neues Deutschland, Peter Steinger, in his article Distinguished Wolf, Provocation Against the Armenians, referring to the nationalism of Turkish foreign minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu, in particular the Grey Wolf's gesture addressed to Armenians during a state visit to Uruguay, called him a modern threat to the whole world of Europe. Ankara's chief diplomat Mevlut Çavuşoğlu made a gesture on April 24th in Montevideo. The German Empire also had its share in the genocide of Armenians. A committee of the Armenians of Belgium was horrified to know that yesterday a car in memory of the victims of genocide of Armenians was vandalized in Henry Wernick Square in Brussels. The monument was painted in three red crescents known to us. The committee strongly condemns the desecration. This act can be only interpreted as an expression of hostility and an attempt to intimidate Belgians of Armenian origins, most of whom are the people who become the victims of genocide. On the International Jazz Day, April 30, famous and popular international jazzmen will arrive in Armenia, founder chairman of the Armenian Jazz Association, Kamo Movsisyan said, we also have guests from Russia, France and the USA. When asked why we attach such great importance to jazz, when for example we don't have an Armenian National Music Day, while jazz is celebrated annually with such great events, he replied, we have very deep roots in jazz. In 1938, we officially had a jazz orchestra with its own tradition and musicians, who were known not only in Armenia but all over the world. Armenian jazz with its Armenian folklore elements is quite popular in the whole world today. Now musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.